Hi, I'm Becky with babesandhairland.com and we are here today with Gimme Clips and we'd like to show you how to do an uneven twist braid and we've already gone and started and done one on this side and we're going to continue and do one over here to show you on this right side. I like to part on an uneven center part so I've gone on the right side and already parted it and then I will part from that down to the ear. I also like to use a bit of water to keep the flyaways and wispy hairs down. Then I'll part that out and then what I like to do is smooth the hair back a bit and really the key to making this look clean and crisp again is the water. Not everybody is a fan of using product, hairspray and such, so the water definitely keeps this looking nice. Then if you know how to do a rope braid, the only difference in this, instead of using two even strands, is you're gonna use one that is a thicker strand and one that is a thinner strand. And so I like to take the top is gonna to be your thin strand and the bottom is your thick strand. And so then you're going to cross the top one underneath and then you're gonna to start to twist. So you twist them the same direction and then you cross it over. And then again, you're gonna twist and cross it over. So you're twisting them the same direction and then the opposite direction. And this can be so versatile, you can do this and then add it into a bun or a ponytail for any occasion. And you can do multiples of these or a single one. It really can be done for any occasion. And we do these for school, for church. Oh, and I just let go of it. <laughs> but they're really quick and easy. But I'm going to be combining it in the back with the one that I did on the other side. And what I like to do is once I've twisted it, and I'm kind of going slow for you here so you can see what I've done, it gives it a really nice look, kind of Renaissance look almost. But what I'll do is I'll take a little clip, claw clip, and clamp it off on the bottom so it doesn't untwist. It will loosen up a little bit, but it doesn't untwist. Then what I'll do, I've held that other one back here. Um, I'll twist them both back up. And then what you'll want, want to do is if the back is kind of dry, you can slick that down a little bit. Then you can take them both and twist them into the middle. And then I've got a little rubber band and I will take that and combine them in the back. And it really is a cute look for any age. And you can just pull those little clips out once you've got the rubber band around them, but that ensures that it's not going to come undone until you're ready for it to come undone. Another fun thing that I like to do, you can leave it down at this time and add a clip to the top, but I also like to pull it like this and not pull it all the way through and leave it as a little fan and let it spray out like that. So it's really cute and playful, kind of messy also. You can leave it like that, but then at this point I like to dress it up a little bit and use one of my favorite gimme clips. And the best part about gimme clips is they have 16 different clips that they come out with every season. And one of our favorites is this one from Gimme Clips and it's called Pink Clouds. And it's the most darling for any age really because it's, it's got the cute little gem in the middle and we use this all the time. I've got three girls and it suits all of them from ages nine to four was what we have right now. But I just love to put this um, right here, cover up the elastic and it just really makes it all playful and cute. And at this point, you can straighten the hair, you can curl it under, you can do whatever you want with the back of it, but it really adds a bit of pizzazz and cuteness to the back. And then you've got the Darling Twist Braid on the side and is perfect for just about any occasion. 
So there you have your darling twist braid.